talk to you today about different types of triangles. There's two things that we're going to focus on when we're describing the differences between triangles. One thing that makes triangles different is their angles. The second thing that makes triangles different is the length of their sides. So first we're going to talk about angles and give them different names. Then we're going to talk about the lengths of their sides and what to call different triangles with different numbers of different length sides. Okay, let's get to the rug. First, I'm going to show you the word triangle. Triangle. Let's talk about a right angle. This triangle has a right angle, and I'm going to use my arrow to point at the angle that's a right angle. These two sides come together to make a corner. It's called a 90 degree angle, but it looks like a corner. Let me show you with some chopsticks here what an angle is. So I have two straight sticks here, and the space in between them is the angle. Here, when I flex them like this, this made a very thin angle between the two straight sides. But I can open them up really big to make a very wide angle. And if I open them up like this, where it makes a perfect corner, this is a 90 degree angle. It looks like a corner. I can even make it wider than 90 degrees, where it's wider than a corner. Let's talk first about triangles that have angles smaller than a right angle. Remember, the right angle looks like a corner. Anything thinner than that or angled in tighter than that is called an acute angle. It's not because it's cute, but it is small, so that's an easy way to remember it. Cute things are sometimes small. An acute angle is smaller than a right angle. Here's an acute angle. The space between the two sticks here is the angle, and this one is, is small. It's smaller than a corner. If I make a corner, that's a right angle. That's a 90 degree right angle. Anything smaller than that, all of this, all of that is acute. That's an acute angle. And then we get back to a perfect corner. Oops, let me make it perfect. That's a right angle. It looks just like a corner. So we have a right angled triangle, this particular angle is the right angle. This angle is acute. This angle is also acute. And this angle is also acute. Because none of them are 90 degrees. None of them are right angles. They're all smaller than that. Let me show you another type of angle. This is when an angle is wider than a corner. This angle right here, but only this one, is called an obtuse angle. You see that? Let me tilt it. Obtuse angle. I'll tilt it for the light. Obtuse angle. These ones here are acute because look how thin and small they are. They're smaller than a corner. So this triangle has two acute angles, but it also has one very wide angle that is obtuse. Let me show you with my sticks again. Here's a right angle, okay? This, this angle right here is a right angle because it's a corner. Anything wider than that, whoop. Look at this wide angle right here, whoops. That wide angle is obtuse. 
Let's see if I can fit my triangle in here. See, that's an obtuse angle right there because it is way wider than a corner. So we have three different types of angles that a triangle can have. A right angle, which is exactly a corner. Angles that are smaller than a corner, those are acute angles. And angles like this one right here that are wider than a corner, those ones are called obtuse angles. So here we have a right angled triangle, an acute angled triangle, and an obtuse angled triangle. Now, I'll put these aside and we'll talk about the sides of a triangle. Many of you have seen this particular type of triangle before. This is called an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle has the word equal in it. That's because all of the sides are the same length. I'm going to mark the length of the side of this triangle with my red pen. So from here to here is the length of the side of this triangle. Let's check and see if all of the sides are the same length. That one is. This side is the same length as this side. And this side is the same length as this side and this side. So all three sides of this triangle are this length right here. They're all equal. They are all the same length. That's what makes this triangle an equilateral triangle. This triangle is called a scalene triangle. The reason that this is called, well, let me tilt it for you. The reason that this is called a scalene triangle is because all of the sides are a different length. It's the opposite of an equilateral triangle because a scalene triangle has no sides that are the same. Let's check with our paper ruler. This side is this long. This side is this long. And this side is this long. So we have one, two, three sides with one, two, three different lengths. That is a scalene triangle. A scalene triangle has no sides that are the same length. This triangle is called an isosceles triangle. That's a very strange word, isosceles. An isosceles triangle has two sides that are the same length, but the third side is different. On this triangle, this side is this long. And look, this side is the same length. It's the same as this side over here. But the bottom is as long as my whole piece of paper. That's not the same at all. This side and this side are the same, but this side is different. When two sides of a triangle are the same, but the third side is different, that's an isosceles triangle. Let me put all three out for you. Isosceles triangles have two that are the same, two sides the same length. Scalene triangles have no sides that are the same. All three sides are different. And equilateral triangles have all three sides exactly the same length. 
So that means that we can identify triangles in two ways. We can either talk about their length of their sides or their angles. If I talk about the angles, I can call them acute, obtuse, or right angled, which I don't have a right angled label. I can also talk about the length of the sides as being isosceles, scalene, or equilateral. There's only one type of equilateral. It looks just like this. This is an equilateral triangle, and it will never look different. It will either be smaller or larger, but it will always look just like this. That's an equilateral triangle. But other triangles can all look different. This one, let's see what kind of angles we have here. It looks like this one, this angle right here, is wider than a corner, just barely. But it's wider than a corner. So this angle is obtuse. This angle is smaller than a corner. So this angle is an acute angle. And this triangle, as we talked about, has two sides that are the same. So this is an isosceles triangle. And it has two different types of angles represented, acute angles and obtuse angles. When you have a triangle that has one obtuse angle, you ignore the words acute angle and you call it an obtuse triangle. So this is an obtuse isosceles triangle. This triangle has a right angle. When a triangle has a right angle, you ignore all the other angles and you call it a right angled triangle. This is a right angled scalene triangle because none of the sides are the same length. Right angled scalene triangle. This side and this side are the same length, but the bottom is very short. So since two sides are the same length and all of the angles are smaller than a corner, this is an acute angled isosceles triangle. That's all that we're gonna look at for triangles today. 